came from a can. <laughs> yes, it did. What do we got today? Where? Uh, we got some Fukushima uh, vegetables in soy sauce, and they're seasoned. Mmm. And it's, they're radiated. Yeah. I guess is how you pronounce it. I don't know. Correct us down below. Yeah, I don't. I don't speak other languages. <laughs> this is America. This is America. We speak Americanese here, right? The only, I, it does say red. It says oh, red. Yeah, it does. It does say red on it. Uh, I don't know what that means. I mean, I guess there is a lot of red on the thing. Yeah. Maybe it's just saying, hey, that that big color that you're saying, that's red. I don't fucking know. It's gonna. It's be, like the Rosetta Stone. It's gonna be gross, fucking really salty vegetables. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, fucking dick. Look at that color. Uh, get it off of me. Uh. Maybe, no, the, I bet the red is referring to the to the vegetables. They look kind of red. Maybe there's like another brand that's like Yeah, blue. that's, that's kind of what I'm... <laughs> Ew. I don't... <laughs> I kind of broke my brain a little bit. I don't even want to know what blue vegetables No. No, that's not, that's not cool. Okay, um... I'm not sure what vegetables these things are even supposed to be. Yeah, that's a little. Oh, yay! Radish, eggplant, ginger, lotus root, sesame seed, uh, wow. perilla leaves. Very crunchy. Perilla Lewis is in here. Mm. She's gonna give us weather. I remember the last thing I had with perilla leaves was it was uh, gross. Gross. Yeah. Yep. Probably for the exact reason that this is probably gonna be <laughs> gross. Oh, dude. Yeah, buddy. Oh. I don't know what the fuck that what the is. What the hell is that? What's the black thing on it? It looks that's like one I'm of those, uh, the, the wagon wheel pastas? That's what I was thinking! <laughs> Here it goes. Fuck. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I knew it would be crunchy. Yeah, it's got good texture, at least. Probably pretty salty. It looks like if you took all it's the... It's actually pimples. not that bad. Yeah? It's a little on the salty side. But it almost tastes just, you know, like the, the pickled ginger you get at a sushi restaurant? Ooh. Yeah. It's like if you were to take, you know, you take your little, like, dish of the soy sauce, mm -hmm. eat a bunch of that pickled ginger, and then just kind of chase it with the yeah. soy sauce. Oh, is it kind of like what you do at the uh, the dim sum places, right? You mix the vinegar and the, the kind soy of. sauce and the, the ginger things. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really good. I mean, I can kind of feel my heart racing because of the soy, <laughs> but it's not like overpowering just as far as like the flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just know that you're eating a lot of salt. No, that is really good. I was expecting the worst from this, but that's fucking delicious. Mm. <laughs> Where it was dead on the money. This is like pickled ginger with a little bit of sweetness and uh, savoriness from like soy sauce no wasabi present unfortunately like that would totally kick this shit over the top just cause that trio is magical I love it every time I go to a sushi joint but yeah I see a lot of potential in this product you could put it on any anything like a sandwich you know it'd be amazing on a sandwich it would it would beat sweet relish almost every time. Ooh. Put that on a dog. Yeah. Ooh, I bet, yeah, that would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Putting it on the line. This shit is better than sweet relish. Um, the texture is better too. Like uh, it, it's it's got kind of a cabbagey feel to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's nice and crisp. This is a great product. I, I endorse it. Two thumbs up. It, look, it almost looks candied in a way. I know. The vegetables are sort of gelatinous. Isn't it like shredded up maraschino cherries? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. Alright, a uh, little bit smoky, a little bit sour. Let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's got it totally right. Like, what happens right away is a strong soy sauce flavor. And it's a little bit disconcerting at first because you're like, oh no, is this going to turn into that? But then like the flavor of the pickled vegetables comes in, cancels it all out, equals delicious. <clears throat> Just like they're saying, it's a little bit sweet and sweet relish, totally. Put that on a fucking hot dog, it would be amazing. 
especially if it was themed with like uh, a wasabi and like you know mayonnaise made it like a true like japanese hot dog mm, yeah. that hot dog's got to be deep fried oh my god that would be so good it's this stuff I, I don't know what the fuck this stuff is uh, vegetable seasoned and soy sauce whatever uh, w this stuff is good <laughs> this is a man. nice product uh i like this uh go seek some out because that's that's a great flavor I did not have high hopes for that. No, I didn't either. I thought it would be way too salty, but no. I thought it would be gross. It's delicious. See, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, Fuku Jinzuki. Try it out yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. This has been a Came From a Can. Thank you for watching. Bitches!